Hey, welcome back to the Class Winners Workshop for another quick fix. I'm Car Guy in Chief Sam Bearer, and I'm here with the 1981 C3 Corvette. Now, one of the very common issues with a C3 Corvette, especially with a tilt or and telescoping uh, steering column, is that either the horn doesn't work at all or it gets stuck on. Neither are good. In fact, this one got stuck on at 6.30 in the morning when I tried to take it out to a show. And we know exactly what the problem is. It's the contact button is blown apart. Why don't you take a second and hit like and subscribe? Because that'll get you more content and even test drives of all these cool collector vehicles. Let's get to it. So one of the problems that causes the tilt and telescoping Corvette wheels to either stick on or not work at all is that the contact under the horn button is basically a sandwiched pieces of metal with an with a isolating little gasket here so when you push the button this contacts this which through this metal thing is touching the electrical current. So it completes the circuit and makes your horn go off. Now, unfortunately, these little nylon or plastic rivets, they break and it sends all the parts flying. So you have a bunch of metal parts sticking together. Also, since the inner ring can come apart, it means that this little piece can fall off and cause the post with the spring underneath, which sends the current in, well, it can cause that to shoot out under spring tension, and then you have a bunch of loose metal parts in there, and that's not good. So I've actually already taken the horn contacts out because, well, the horn was blaring, and the last thing we wanted to do is leave it that way until the battery ran out. So what you're gonna do is simply take the horn ring in your hand and pull it off. That will leave this in here with three screws. So take your broken horn contact, undo the Phillips head screws, three of them, and pull it out. Now you will notice that there will be this left behind, the, re the spacer, and then right down here may be either a spring or this contact. It is very common when the inner contacts or upper contact blow apart, this post under spring tension will shoot out. So take a needle nose screwdriver or pliers, make sure that you have your spring and then you're gonna use it to put the post back in. Now, I also like to use a little pick too because it makes it easier to push the post in and then use this little, turn the little tab over so it gets retained. So the next step is to take our spacers and line them up beneath our horn contact, the upper contact or horn button contact. And take our screws The most important thing, make sure that when you put this back in, that this metal contact is against the post that you just seated on the spring. Oh. But as soon as we get this tight, everything will be sitting against the proper isolators and should only go when we push the button. So 
So now that we've got that tightened down, we can put our horn button back on, making sure we get the emblem correct here. We're back in business. It's that simple. So yeah, you can try to fix your old horn contact. They sell replacement rivet kits because these are the most common failure point. It's essentially when you hit the button, the whole insides fall apart. But this new contact was about $32 with shipping. And it, this is gonna blow apart again. And the contacts get corroded over time. So just buy the new one, peace of mind. So from the workshop, it was a really quick and easy fix to get this car back into safety compliance. I'm Sam Bear, car guy in chief here at Class Winners. Remember, life's too short for ordinary cars and certainly life's too short to have everybody mad at you when your horn sticks on or when somebody comes at you into your lane and you can't honk your horn and let them know that you're there in some really cool vintage vehicle.